Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing cast-in-place pour planning for contractors. Techless Structures pour technology is unique. It allows users to make the most out of a construction model before or during work execution. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this feature can work for you. A pour in Tecla is not all that different from its real-world counterpart. Pores act as a grouping of concrete and other objects inside of a construction model. And Tecla's technology understands how these concrete objects represent real-world concrete placements. When we work with pores, users can add breaks or joints, inquire about the volumes or area, and plan the work ahead. Sounds pretty good, right? So the question is, how does that work? Well, models are created using parts, and concrete parts represent the both common and uncommon placements of concrete that we want to execute. Example of these parts include pad footings or continuous ones, slabs, columns, wall panels, and much, much more. These parts are individual when we create them, and we can report on their physical properties, such as the volume or size or surface area. Now, Tecla uses these parts to create the pore boundary when we turn on the pore view. And once we do, the concrete shapes are combined to form a pore. A pore is a new object, or an assembly in this case, that represents the actual volume of concrete to be placed. Any overlapping volume is eliminated when the objects are combined. Pores can be broken apart by using what we call pore breaks, which allow users to separate combined concrete in the model on the fly. What this means is it allows users to define their placements in real time with existing models or ones they're creating themselves. And as the pores are combined or separated, you can simply number as you go. The model will provide a visualization to help you stay on track so that you know what pores you've already addressed. Making changes to pores is pretty easy. Users can simultaneously view pores and parts and the changes they make side by side. Edits to the geometry are instantly updated, as well as key data such as volume or surface area. This allows users to easily compare different pore configurations and quickly decide on the best layout or course forward. It also allows users to make adjustments very quickly during the later stages of a project when those unforeseen circumstances pop up. So now that we know what pores are and how they work, the question is, is what do they do for me? Well, the visualization, first and foremost, allows for faster and more informed decisions about your project without having to be on site. Users can make changes as planning requirements change and provide that updated info quickly to those who need it. You can produce reports for each pour with the concrete and bill of material for embeds, rebar, or even formwork if they're modeled. Not to mention that a construction model with pores can eliminate most drafting tasks for construction or bid-related drawings that need to be created. Drawings are just a view of a model, and they update with any changes you make. Default settings are provided for drawing layouts, and this includes views and tables, and even annotation. Users can specify easily which pores to show and to not. It's also easier to understand and share the model with anyone. A construction model using our pore technology also is easy to share and therefore easier to understand with the entire team. The pore layout you define can be shared with the model to external model viewers such as Trimble Connect. And Trimble Connect allows for viewing and reporting on models but not editing. So your model remains in your control. But with the benefits of sharing that visualization and information with anyone on the team who needs it, whether it's their desktop, tablet, or mobile phone. That's just the tip of the iceberg, and only just the highlights. There's a lot more to unpack with tackle structures and poor planning and management. But for now, that's going to go ahead and conclude our video. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more about this topic or how to get started with tackle structures? Just check out the video's description for links to our user assistance page, getting started guide, or our online campus.